Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing through the PS4 version of Bendy and the Ink Machine once again. I'm doing a little mini series based around the PS4 version of Bendy because after doing Chapter 1 and showing you all the secrets in Chapter 1 on PS4, you guys seem to really want another video on this. So I thought we'd do Chapter 2 and see how this video does. If these videos keep doing well, I'll play through the whole of uh, Bendy on Chapter 4 because it's kind of nice to reminisce each chapter and play through it again at a casual pace once we understand what's happening and where to find all the secrets. So in this chapter, of course, we've got to uh, press on, meet Sammy Lawrence. Chapter 2 was always one of my favourite chapters. Uh, I think it perfectly balances horror and combat, and I think the puzzles and the variation of tasks you're doing in the chapter are also pretty well sort of pulled off here. Now these uh, coffins we actually know belong now to workers at the studio. I think these were Grant Cohen and Norman Polk's coffins. Uh, we will find out for sure once we pick up the looking glass tool later in the game, but I think that's uh, correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for all the bacon soup once again in this chapter, guys, while I talk casually about this chapter and how it runs on PS4. Since the patch, the game seems to be really good, and I've just noticed today that I think they've updated it again, and you no longer get that issue with uh, audio recordings where the text just sticks on the screen anymore, so that's a good thing. So we're going to pick up the bacon soup here. This is uh, the first of the bacon soup of this level. You can also play this if you want. Quite a fun little thing they've included How there. This place gets so big. So we'll listen to Sammy's audio recording to start with. He appears from the shadows to rain his sweet blessings upon me. The figure of ink that shines in the darkness. I see you, my savior. I pray you hear me. Those old songs, yes, I still sing them. For I know you are coming to save me, and I will be swept into your final loving embrace. But love requires sacrifice. Can I get an amen? I said, can I get an amen? I love that. I always think that's like a really cool little easter egg there. I said the audio glitch had been fixed. It was in chapter one when I just had to replay it. But obviously it isn't. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Anyway, um, let's continue, guys. Of course, we can cut these bendy cutouts down if we want. And we can see the little symbols that we find all around um, the studio. I believe we see these in Joey's uh, apartment at the end of the game as well. But these are kind of the occult symbols that I guess he used to... I, I don't know, as part of the ritual process, I guess. This is one of my favourite shots of the game as well. You see Sammy's silhouette just appear in the doorway there. At the end of that inky corridor, it's just a really cool moment in the game. And I think Sammy's disappeared into the wall there by the look of it, so he's escaped us for now. So we'll just turn around and pick up these bacon soup cans, guys. So here we go, we'll get all the bacon soup from here. Of course we don't want to miss any because we want to get that trophy for collecting all bacon soup in the game. If you play this on Xbox, you will also be able to unlock the achievement. Um, as well on Xbox. I don't know if the Switch has achievements or not, as I uh, don't really play a lot on the Switch, but I know the PS4 and Xbox versions will. Now, so open the gate here, guys. We've got to, uh, of course, now. flip all the switches. Should be a couple switches nearby. Then maybe I can open it. One thing that I liked about the update was that these switches used to be in random locations all over, and it used to be really frustrating sometimes to find them. Since the update back in May, I think of last year, no, May of this year, they actually changed it so that they're always in fixed locations. And the same can be said for the items you use in a ritual in Chapter 1 as well. They're always in fixed locations now. I think it works a lot better. So we'll go and raise the gate now. And we'll get into the music department itself. And once we've done that, I'll show you where the rest of the bacon soup is. Uh, and talk about what I like within the music department because I remember playing this chapter and thinking it was such like a big step up over the original and while I have a soft spot for chapter one in terms of its horror execution and its atmosphere I think this chapter is probably the best paced in the game and has the most variety of stuff to do in my opinion at least but everyone has their favorite chapter of this game I think uh, that's a great thing about it uh, this is my personal favorite it's really dark in here just have good memories of this one. 
So we'll listen to Sammy's audio log, guys. I just want to play all the audio logs in this playthrough as well, in case you have missed one or just haven't heard one for any reason. So first, Joey installs this ink machine over our heads. Then it begins to leak. Three times last month, we couldn't even get out of our department because the ink had flooded the stairwell. Joey's solution. An ink pump to drain it periodically. Now I have this ugly pump switch right in my office. People in and out all day. Thanks, Joey. Just what I needed. More distractions. These stupid cartoon songs don't write themselves, you know? You can sort of see how Joey was really irritating everyone at the studio with, you know, his insistence upon putting all these pipes into power the ink machine up. Um, he was making it inconvenient for pretty much everyone to do their day-to-day -day work at the studio just so that he could have this ink machine up and running because I think he kind of wanted to save the business by uh, bringing his cartoons to life, so to speak. And of course this is the first time we met these searchers, which I think are a really cool enemy. I love the way they're animated. They're really creepy looking and weird, they're kind of like these humanoid ink forms and I've always believed them to be sort of the, I don't know, the people that didn't quite get a fully cartoon or human form, you know, like we have the lost ones, they kind of look quite humanoid um, and when we have the actual cartoon creations like for Boris clones of Butcher Gang members uh, and to an extent Alice Angel, but these ones, the searchers, are kind of the weakest forms of the experimentation process, if you will, if that makes any sense. We've got a um, nice little poster for Alice there, of course, I remember when everyone was playing Chapter 2 and we all were like, oh, is Alice going to show up in the game? And of course she does in Chapter 3, 4 and 5 in various guises, which is cool. And this is a little mini game they added, it's like you can play uh, pool by sort of just putting the cursor over the white ball and trying to pot the other ones, I think one of these is, yeah, that one is an eyeball as well, if you can see that. It's quite creepy. But I don't think by potting these balls it actually gives you anything. I was hoping it would open this shutter and give us a secret recording or something, but I don't think it does. I think this is kind of just like a fun little mini game you can mess around with. But if anyone discovers uh, that there is a secret in this room one day, that would be pretty cool. We'll go upstairs, we'll listen to Norman's audio recording next. Here we go. Every day the same strange thing happens. I'll be up here in my booth, the band will be swinging, and suddenly Tammy Lawrence just comes marching in and shuts the whole thing down. Tells us all to wait in the hall. And then I hear him. He starts up my projector and he dashes for the projection booth and downs the recording studio like the little devil himself was chasing behind. A few seconds later, projector turns out. Right, so I want to show you guys a secret here in case you don't know about it. What you can do here is turn on the projector, run down into the projection room down here, or I should say the recording studio, and once we've gone in here, you'll actually be able to form a whole band worth of bendy cutouts. So you can see there's two up there now, right? Go back out, go all the way back up to Norman's projection booth, and just keep repeating the process of turning on the projector, running downstairs, running back upstairs. You'll eventually create a whole... See, there's two down there now, two bendy cutouts. You'll eventually record a whole band's worth of bendy cutouts. I'm going to do it one more time just to show you. Um, I don't know if we have to wait for this projector to turn off or not, but we'll, uh, we'll go downstairs and try it again. And basically, if you do this, I think, nine times, so you get nine ben bendy cutouts down here, you actually get an achievement unlocked for doing that. So you can see, yeah, there's three up there now, so if we go back upstairs, there should be three stood down in the recording studio now. And you'll eventually, as I say, you'll make up one for each member of the band, for each member of the orchestra. Yeah, there you go. You can see there's three down there. So you just keep repeating that, guys, till you've got all nine down there. That'll get you an achievement, and it looks quite funny as well, so it's quite a nice little Easter egg. Uh, I'll show you another achievement while we're at it as well. 
Um, if you go into this room here, you see Sammy's organ. If you keep playing this, you'll hear screams come out of this uh, sort of microphone here, and you'll get an achievement eventually after five times. Hear that? So like I say, you keep doing this. It's not going to show up on my screen because I've already unlocked it, but... There you go. That's the last one. So you do that five times, you get an achievement. Just a little easter egg in case you didn't know about it. We're actually going to try and get some bacon soup here as well, so we'll pick up that one. That Briar label bacon soup. And we're going to go over to Wally's recording next because, of course, we need to find his keys. Okay, so we need to find Wally's keys, and we'll save it as well. This is a cool feature they added. Uh, I can't remember which update it was with now. It might have been with, with the remastering of the chapters, but they put in, like, these little save stations. Punching in. Um, and I just think that it's a really neat little addition to the game. I really, uh, I really like that. Because there's so many ways you can save in games, but, like, stuff like that where they've gone to the extra effort of making a little animation and stuff. It's just nice. So we'll pick up the keys. Uh, it's always in a different trash can. The keys up here. We're going to go over to the recording booth next. We're going to listen to Susie Campbell's first audio recording of the game. Always find Susie's story really interesting. It may only be my second month working for Joey Drew, but I can already tell I'm going to love it here. People really seem to enjoy my Alice Angel voice. Sammy says she may be as popular as Ben Me someday. These past few I voiced everything from talking chairs to dancing chickens, but this is the first character I really felt a connection with. She's a part of me. Alice and I, we're going places. It's quite a tragic story, the story of Alice. But, well, I should, should say the story of Susie. Because Susie Campbell, of course, became Twisted Alice, we believe, and uh, was not treated very well by Joey Drew. But with that said, we will explore the rest of the studio now. We need to go and access, with Wally's keys, Sammy's, uh, sorry, Wally's storage closet over here, in which we'll be able to pick up some more bacon soup. Here we go. And also, we'll get an audio recording which tells us the order to play the instruments in to open Sammy's sanctuary. Every artistic person needs a sanctuary. Joey Drew has his, and I've got mine. To enter, you need only know my favorite song. The bass fiddle sings with deep articulation. The piano delicately calls. The piano returns in graceful harmony. The banjo playfully plucks. Sing my song, and my sanctuary will open to you. Bass, piano, piano, banjo. So we need to go and play the instruments in that order, guys. And then we will be able to access Sammy's Sanctuary, which is what we need to do in order to progress through the level. So I always have a hard time remembering the order as soon as I leave that recording. Um, but I believe it was bass, piano, piano, fiddle. No, banjo. Don't put words in your head, Mike, that are wrong. <laughs> so we'll go, uh, we'll go and do that now. Um... So the bass is at the back, here we go, bass, one of those, two keys on the piano, and we need the banjo which is over here, pluck that, and we get to go into Sammy's Sanctuary now. Again, this is something that re received a huge upgrade when they first remastered this chapter because before it was just this tiny little corridor, it didn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, to be a sanctuary. Now it's even got a toilet in here. Um, and it's got some writing on the wall which says, Sing a happy song, whistle a merry tune, wait for his arrival, he's coming very soon. Very poetic. Run down. Jump scare. 
see Sammy up there as well. I missed him the first time I ever played this. Stood up there on the in the gallery. And now, of course, we've got to defeat these guys. Which go down pretty easy, to be fair, with the axe. It's not that challenging early on this game, but it does get tricky the further you get into it, of course. Which is good. A good difficulty curve, I think. But if you want to do some of the extra challenges, like the, the special challenge in like Chapter 3, for example, that's actually really hard. So we're going to go down into the infirmary, which is, a, again, a new area built for the remaster of this chapter. It's got a little bed in there. You can see that Joey drew as well. If we look at the sign, we'll just return to this for a sec, guys, as we're doing like a casual playthrough here. It says, uh, notice any... Anyone found faking illness will be docked a full week's wages, not sick, not paid. So Joey really wasn't messing around, you know, he was not a very kind sort of employer by the sound oh, of it. No, there's no valve. Not a very forgiving one, let's say. So we're going to go down into Utility Shaft 9. And it says, down here we are all sinners. That's what Sammy's been writing, I think. And that's, of course, Jack Fane, this little searcher there. Thing holding my valve? Or at least we believe it's Jack Fane. And over here is Jack Fane's secret sort of hideaway, and there's a bacon soup can here, so we'll pick that up. As well as that, we're going to play his recording, guys. I love the quiet, and that's hard to come by in these busy times. And yeah, sure, it, it may stink to high heaven down here, but it's just perfect for an old lyricist like me. Sammy's songs always got some bounce, but uh, if I didn't get away once in a while, they'd never have any words to go with them. So I'll keep my mind to singing and uh, my nose closed. <laughs> I think Jack Fane's got a funny character. We don't get to experience much of him in the story, but nice just to know that Sammy had other people working with him on the, the music. He was sort of like a co-writer, I think, Jack Fane. And there he is. And here we need to crush him with this little puzzle here by raising up the box and dropping it back on him. I do want to sort of briefly talk about the PS4 version of this game, guys, or at least the console version, I should say. It's been like really fun replaying this on console, on the big screen TV in the lounge. Oh, is he in the right place? I don't know that he is. Let's try and drop that and see. No, he's in the wrong place. But yeah, like it's, a, it's, it's cool to be able to play this on console finally. I love getting the trophies for this game. If anyone's on the fence about this game, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a decent port now it's been patched. should pop up in the right place now. There you go. And now, sorry, I had could take the valve. Nice hat. Progress. Now there is a secret I'm going to show you guys as well, which is found after we use the valve before we go to complete this chapter, and that's to get the secret searcher. We can actually get one of Henry's visions if we go in sort of entice the secret searcher back this way. So we're going to go and do that, guys, because I do want to show you the secrets where possible. Um, but there is also some other, some other things you can do with that searcher that I'm, going to sh that I'm not going to show you in this video. But I do have a full video up on my channel if, you want, if you're interested in that. Okay, that should do it. So we're going to run back to the secret searcher. It's all the way back at the start, guys. So what we need to do now before we complete this chapter is we need to run all the way back to the start through this inky corridor. You might... As I say, run into some searches along the way as well, but they're not going to be the searches we want. The searcher we want is right at the beginning, and he's got a hard hat on, like a miner's hard hat, and you can actually make him follow you and crush him with a box as well. Here you go, the secret searcher. Now, you can just kill him, but if you just kill him, you don't actually get anything from it. What we actually want to do is entice him all the way back to the area with that box. So I'm not actually going to show you the entire process of leading him back, guys. But what I will do is uh, jump ahead back to the area with the box and show you how to crush him. So just lead him around here, guys, like this. You've got the box raised up there. So about here, just start running back. And you should be able to crush him. Boom. And yeah, you get that vision like that. Now you see, because you've done that, if you get the rest of the visions in the games which are found in chapters four, uh, sorry, three, four, 
and 5, you'll actually be able to access the secret weapon from the Meatly's next game, as well as that, you'll also be able to access the secret trapdoor in chapter 1. So we'll try and get the rest of the visions as we go through the game, but sometimes they're quite hard to do, so I can't make any promises. Either way, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to head upstairs to Sammy's office, we're going to get the secret radio, and we're also going to um, turn on the valve, of course, to drain the stairwell. So we'll do that first, pump control. We'll turn on this radio. So that's the second secret radio in the game. Of course, we want to get the achievement for getting all of them. And I think that's about it for this chapter. All the secrets have been got. I think we got all the bacon soup, didn't we? So we'll just head out. Sammy's clonked us over the head with the uh, dustpan. I was always wondering if Sammy would come back. Of course, it was really cool to see him return in Chapter 5 as well, wasn't it? I'll just let you guys watch this part. Nice and tight. We wouldn't want our sheep roaming away now, would we? No, we wouldn't. I must admit, I am honored you came all the way down here to visit me. It almost makes what I'm about to do seem cruel. But the believers must honor their savior. I must have him notice me. Wait, you look familiar to me. That face. Not now, for our Lord is calling to us, my little sheep. The time of sacrifice is at hand. And then I will finally be freed from this prison. This inky, dark abyss I call a body. Shh. Quiet. Listen. I can hear him. Crawling above, crawling. Let us begin. The ritual must be completed. Soon he will hear me. He will set us free. Well, that's what you think, Sammy. He's going to set you free of something. Your body, uh, I guess, would be the, the main one. But of course, Sammy does come back in Chapter 5. With a different sounding voice. He's kind of uh, sounds like he got a bit sort of messed up by Bendy when he got attacked. But yeah. He didn't return for quite some time. A lot of people thought he never would. I was kind of always under the impression that I thought he would at some point, but even I kind of started losing belief after a while because, of course, it wasn't until the very final chapter of the game that he did return. Okay, let's get the axe, guys. Here we go. Time to take these fools out. And first, as well, before we go on to meet Bendy at the end of this chapter uh, and run into Boris as well, we do want to make sure we get the rest of the bacon soup. So there is one here. And I think that is the final bacon soup can of the stage. Oh, no, there's one more, actually. But there's no more in this area. There's one more before we go to the end, though. So let's go through here. There's actually a little secret where you can see the ink machine going down here if you quick. There you go. In case you missed that before. And just chop through these boards and we'll get to Bendy. I'm going to show you a secret here, guys. Turn around, go back. This is a little secret in case you've missed it. In the Bendy jump scare room, uh, you won't run into Bendy if you turn your back and walk backwards. And you'll be able to hear a little whistling sound if you stand here for a few seconds. Joey Drew's whistle. So there you go. That's how you get that little secret course make sure that you walk this way back so that Bendy doesn't pop up in your face now you can turn now we have to run go go Henry go I love the way Bendy appears in this game with the like where the ink wraps around the walls it's just so cool it has like a sort of anime feel to it almost like a dark anime feel to it I really like it I hope he's not gonna capture us uh, it seems really close we're all right, we're in, we're in. Okay, final bacon soup can, guys, collected. So that's all bacon soup in chapter two as well for you. 
and we'll go through now to meet Boris and that'll be the end of the video. Here he is, clumsily knocking the bacon soup can Hello? out from behind to cover. Kind of feel like this might be Wally You're Franks, here. but that's Come just my theory. Yourself. Here he is. Hi, Boris. And there we go, guys. Boris? That is it for part two of our Bendy on the PS4 playthrough with all the secrets. I uh, hope you've been enjoying it. As I say, this is going to probably wrap up my coverage of Bendy for a while until they announce some new stuff to do with the uh, the, the game series, I guess. Um, so if you enjoy this series and you want me to do more uh, PS4 playthroughs of Bendy, just let me know in the comments below. But with that said, thanks for watching today, guys, and I will see you on the next video.